everyone welcome back again to my youtube channel and in today's session we will be discussing about url launchers in flutter so this url launcher dependency is very much helpful in accessing certain services from and within the app itself so we have these four buttons these four buttons just demonstrate individual services first is the uh, url launcher so i have just provided a url from which if you click on that button you can able to just navigate to the corresponding url itself and similarly you have or you can just compose an email or can make a phone call or even send an sms message to the respective phone number what you have provided so this url launch dependency is very much helpful to access the device specific apis to the core level and it's very much easy to implement or well, just dive into the coding part of how to enable these services using this url launcher plugin perhaps back you just need to add this dependency which is the url launcher okay after adding this dependency let us just start building the simple ui stuffs okay first let me have a scaffold and i am not going to have any app bar let us just directly dump into the body and inside this body let me have a container inside this container which takes the child so i am going to have those buttons in a column based manner so let me give the column and before that let me specify the container width okay let me just give the maximum width it can take and the first child say the container and before that i just want those widgets to be placed in the center so let me just set the main axis element as main axis element dot center similarly the cross axis element as cross axis element dot center good now let me just build up the rise button so this is a custom function which just returns a widget which is the rise button so this function will be taking two parameters one is the text what we need to have inside the button and next is the event that is the on press event okay as of now we haven't just provided or we haven't just defined these functions let me just define those functions later on just hold on with them or is let's just define it for the time sake so the rise button which takes the text and the event which is dynamic okay. which returns the rise button and this rise button will be having the child which is the text from the parameter we get and the um, on press event is the event so this, we just need to wrap that and say the text widget okay now we have just developed the rise button alone now let us create another widget which is the spacer widget takes the parameter double my height and returns size box yeah. I have just defined two widgets and let me just make use of those because we are we just don't need to just write that rise button widget again and again for each and every button we create so let me just create our developers generic widget that returns the rise button similarly for the spacing we can provide the custom widget which is the height spacer you can just pass in the value that is the height value need okay similarly we can have four more buttons just change in the text And the event is launch 
launch email okay now next is a button to make a phone call and the event is launch call and the last one is an sms sending sms the event is launch sms okay just just capitalize these things now as of now we haven't just defined these functions it is just showing error okay there's no problem in that let us just define that softly now the ui is ready uh, because of this function we are not getting any output over here so let's just quickly build up that services alone okay the first service is launch url this uh, sync function here you can just specify the url alone what you need to have any url you can just specify over here can be anything it starts with https colon double slash anything you want you can just give it over here okay and you can just launch that url this launch is a custom function which will be just defining Similarly, it is also an async function that will be just checking whether we can just launch that URL can launch. If it is so, then wait launch launch of URL. Or else just show an error stating would not not launch that specific URL. Mm, yes. Well, we can have another function which is the launch email which is again an async function that will be taking the parameters which is uri and this uri will be taking the scheme which is the mail to keyword followed by the path here in the path you need to give the destination email address to whom you need to send the email example at gmail.com and you can just provide the subject and the body which is wrapped inside the query parameter so this query parameter will be having the subject which is can give any subject testing your launcher and see the body it just provide the message what you need to send okay and that's it for the email and as usual just call the launch function 
we passing the email URL in our case it is email launch URI and it accepts the string so let me just concatenate to string and that's it for the email similarly for making a phone call launch call is a function it is again a sync which takes the phone number alone okay and just specify the phone number the keyword or the prefix word is tell followed by the numbers okay you can give any valid phone number okay for now i am just giving this and again call the launch function launch of and pass the phone number alone and the last one is sending an sms launch sms which is again as usual hashing function in this case it again takes the phone number which it requires the phone number here the phone number can just give it with the prefix keyword which is sms followed by a valid phone number and again launch use the launch function and passing the sms phone number well that's it and now go to the home page and import that library and just refresh the app well we got the ui ready just check out the functionality this is the url launcher that is the remote url here i have specified the url as the official pattern url so i am able to just get that in a separate tab Similarly, you can just check the email, uh, make a phone call, or send SMS messages. So, as I'm now running in my browser, it is just navigating to a separate tab. So, you can just clone my repo and just test it in a mobile device or emulator, and it will be working fine. Well, that's it, guys. That's all about your launchers and better. So, hope you enjoy this video. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye.